Caribbean Tiger. Time is rapidly running out for you. This Saturday night, Ring Wars Carolina presents Too Legit to Quit. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. You are about to encounter your demons. Your greatest nightmare realized. The gatekeeper to the leader, David Barnabas Spector's Kingdom of Shadows. The cornerstone of the monstrosities. Caribbean Tiger, this Saturday night in Lumberton, prepare to suffer the side effect. <laughs> of 
Lizard Lake Towing and Recovery and or its affiliates, networking families such as the Network King Judy Moves. So guess what, Steve? I've got something you would love to hear. Today, 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 let me have that championship, sir, because it's going to his right below. If you want it, you get in a match and you earn it. This championship will go to the rightful owner, Rip Cannon! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are y'all ready for some great wrestling action? We gonna show up. We can't help it. Wow. R-R-W-C-C. <laughs> And welcome back to Ring War Carolina's Battlegrounds. Too legit to quit. Every single one of these matches, main event caliber. Joining me on commentary, Stephen Hensley. I'm the voice of tradition, Jonathan Darwin. And we're getting a look at probably one of the more ominous individuals here in Ring War Carolina. Side effects, Steve. The side effects, certainly a recce machine. We've definitely seen proof of that as of late. Under the tutelage of the leader, David Barnabas Spector. And you know something, because you like to hang out with that uh, maniacal individual. Well, I, I don't get to hang out with him as much as I'd like to. We Skype. Skype? We're modern men. Technology is a thing now. It's not exactly the dark ages, Sean. I, I think that's Zoom. I don't know. Is Skype even You'll be introducing the correct person as the winner of that. That being my client, Side Effect. <laughs> and his opponent this evening. From the Caribbean, put your hands together for Caribbean Tiger. Caribbean Tiger looking for revenge against Side Effect. Side Effect, the man that potentially cost Caribbean Tiger that AIWF World Television Championship back at New Style Team. I mean, that's certainly an argument to be made. But today, the fact of the matter at hand, this is a one-on-one -on -one singles contest between two men, both of whom may have a chip on their shoulder, and certainly a stern test for side effects who normally mauls through his opponents. 
I mean, we're talking about Tiger. This is a man who is a former junior heavyweight champion and an inaugural television champion. This guy is no slouch in that ring. If there's a guy that can take down a monster, it's him. However, being capable of taking down a monster and taking down a monster, that's a one in a hundred shot. Just because you can doesn't mean you will. And the odds are stacked against Tiger, in my humble opinion. Well, this could be that one in a hundred shot that you're talking about. Tiger more focused than I've seen him in a long time. I think he's got to concentrate on his opponent. He can't look too far ahead when he gets that shot at the AIWF World Championship at the 30th anniversary show on March 6th. And we get this action underway. Tiger sizing up side effect here. You gotta think Tiger's got a good mental plan in his head. Tiger showing no fear out there as he stares down. Oh! What an That's like poking the bear. Look at the power side effect as he pushes off. And that's like the bear poking. Yeah, th and you see Tiger now, he's not phased at all though. He's looking it up. He's staring side effect right back down. Collar elbow tie up. This is gonna be interesting to see if, oh! Tiger tossed like a rag doll. I don't think I've ever really seen anyone manhandle Tiger like that before. Holy mother of Moses. David Barnard Spector proclaiming that side effect will win the contest. Tiger needs to focus on his opponent in the ring versus that. Uh, well, I can't argue with that. His attention is obviously divided at the moment. Yeah, rear waist lock now, and I mean, Tiger, Wonder if he's going to be able to pick up side of, oh, side effect powering out and oh, down goes Tiger again. Well, a rear waist lock attempt did not go very well for him. I question the logic of trying to go for a rear waist lock on a guy that big, that strong this early in the contest. You'd be hard pressed to do that when he's winded, when he's wore down, let alone right now at the beginning when he's fresh as a daisy. There is some point to that, Steve, but Tiger now sticking and moving. And you know what, he's got to do that. He's got to use speed to his advantage, going to work on the kicks and trying to take, take the big man off of his legs. Can he be successful? Oh, down goes, down goes side effect to one knee. Tiger with the speed. Oh, wait a minute there. Wait a minute. What's David doing? He has no reason to be tripping up Tiger. John, I didn't see that. You I, didn't see that? I did not. How did you not catch that? I mean, I didn't see it. I don't know why you want to hear it. How big an explanation do you need? I think you saw something that wasn't there. That's the case at hand. Oh, really? Then why is then all the other individuals here in the King Arena? Oh, my God! What a suplex by side effect. Well, side effect absolutely turning Tiger inside out there. Great release belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Really, really, I know how strong side effect is, but it was surprising to see how easily he literally flipped him up and over top of him. Yeah, and there's not a lot of people that can go to Tiger like that. Big hands now being thrown by side effect, and Tiger has his bell rung slightly. Oh, going to work on the spine of Caribbean Tiger now. But Tiger, he's got that fighting spirit. He's gonna push back. He's trying again. He knows what he needs to do. He needs to take side effect down and keep him down. Tiger coming off again and drop kick to the knee and down goes side effect for the first time in this contest. Well, Caribbean Tiger making a moment happen here. He needs to stay on top of him, climbing to the top rope. I'm not sure that- Wait a minute, what's, now you, you gotta see that. Well, I did see that. That was a very effective maneuver between side effect and David Barnum, the Spectre. What effective, 
That, David should be ejected for putting his hands on Caribbean Tiger. Well, I didn't see him strike the man. Oh, speaking of striking, it looks like David may be getting striked by Caribbean Tiger. The referee Tiger. needs to put a stop to this. This is out of line. Barney is not a competitor in this contest. There's no reason for Tiger to be laying his hands on him. Well, David Barney, the specter, pleading for his life. And a, oh, that lariat just levels Caribbean Tiger. This, that might have been part of David's plan the whole way, is to get Tiger distracted, keep him off tilt. What we're seeing now is side effect powering up Caribbean Tiger as he slams him on the canvas in the out, or Max to the outside. That's fine if a Caribbean Tiger has to be seeing some damage. Tiger though, he still wants a piece of David Barnabas Spectre. Side effect game, the ring breaking up the count, smart. It's getting pretty high there for a woman. Yeah, just resetting the count. Something that I'm sure that was talked to him by the leader. Oh no, no, not like this. Oh my God. Straight across the vertebrae of Caribbean Tiger. Such unforgiving metal. And Barney perhaps prematurely declaring side effect a winner in this contest. Hard to argue with the footage at hand at the moment that's going in his direction. But still, the contest has to be finished. But David Barnabas Specter has promised me one thing, Jonathan What's Darwin. What's that? You know what that is? What's the it's what? that side effect is guaranteed to be a champion in 2022. How can a you, singles competitor champion. How can you make a guarantee like that? I mean, it's the start of the year. I mean, you can't. How do you make a guarantee with that? You want to know how you make a guarantee with that? You get a monster like that. You get a force of destruction like that. You get a guy with that kind of win-loss record out there, and that's how you make a guarantee like that. It's not a question of, can we do this? Is this a good goal for the year? It's a guaranteed foregone conclusion. You put a monster out there with a man, the monster's going to win 99 times out of 100. In this case, though, he's down. May not be winning so far. For a moment. Tiger. For a moment. Uh, David looking concerned, and I can't blame him. Tiger hits this. Wait a minute, come on. What in the world? Oh, get that splash off. Right by that leg. Two. Oh, no. Very powerful kick out, by the way. Yeah. I mean, side effects still very fresh. Tiger making a mistake right here. Yeah. Oh, the referee trying to finally get into it and break it. Oh, good night. Eye, Eye off the reading. prize. Eye off the prize, brother. But does it matter? Does it absolutely matter? Oh, yeah. It matters if your side effect. Oh, wait a minute. Tiger was speeding. No. Well, Tiger oh, misses. Oh, no. And wait a minute. Side effect gets him the second time with that choke slam. Go for the pin. Look at the leg. Go it done. Go it done. You ask what a guarantee looks like? It looks like that. I tell you what, David Barnum Inspector, he might be ice in the jaw, but that jaw is going to have a big smile on his face with the fact that Side Effect was victorious against a stand, standout superstar here in Ring Wars Carolina and Caribbean Tiger. Well, Side Effect continuing his destructive ways here. A man who Wait David Barnum Inspector says will be a champion, dropping that destructive elbow one more time on Caribbean Tiger. A man who ended the undefeated streak of G-Money. A man who will, according to both David Barnabas Specter and myself, Jonathan Darwin, I'll go ahead and issue it. It's not just a decree. It's not just a guarantee. It's, a, it's exactly what David has promised us. It is a deliverance. A deliverance, if you will, from corruption here in Ring Wars Carolina against the tyranny of men who would keep guys like Side Effect on the bottom tier. Men who are afraid of a monster like that. I can't blame him. What do you do with a monster like that when he's your singles champion? I, I don't know. How do you control him? I, How do you call the shots? You don't. I don't mean. And your winner, the Well, time will tell if that prediction comes true and Side Effect does become a single champion. Speaking of champions, we got championship action for you. Don't go anywhere. We gonna show up. We can't show up. Wow. R-R-W-C-C.
All right, we're back with more Ring Wars Carolina Battlegrounds. Stephen Hensley ready to call Junior Heavyweight Championship. And wait a minute, Primo, no one invited you out here. What well, you he's guest starring, John. You know what a guest star is? It's a star who's my guest. Primo, welcome to the announcement. Good to see you as always. Good to see you again, Stephen. And Jonathan, you really need to work on your intro. Yeah, you know, it's a thing to see you. Not quite a pleasure, not quite good. And his opponent is the current RWC Junior Heavyweight Champion. Make some noise for Hunter Rayner! North Carolina's own Hunter Rayner, the RWC Junior Heavyweight Champion who defeated the man joining us on commentary, Ramo. Now, why why do you have to go there, John? Why would he have to go <laughs> there? Because I have to explain John, the title. No, no, no. Jonathan's very rude. I don't know why you're in it. I believe the word you're looking for is classless. You are a classless individual. Ramo, I am so sorry about this. I thought he was going to play fair out here. I am He's playing taking fair. the cheap shots here. I can't blame him for being cheap. I have met his mother. What? Calls it like I sees it. Just out here scouting the competition, asking Ray, Ray Wrestler, alleged, alleged Jonathan, junior heavyweight champion, with that cheap victory he got over me. Oh, you were the one who poked fodder into that, and fodder was just returning fire. Hunter Rayner got his work cut out for him here today. Axton Ray is a former AIWF Mid Atlantic Wrestling Cruiserweight champion, making his RWC debut today. He's also one-third of the international superstars and tag team partner with Blanco Loco, making up Level X. Yeah, third generation. Quite a few accolades. Yeah, third generation amateur wrestler, professional cheerleader. He's been on AEW Dark. He's been on Impact. I mean, the man is making waves. I will give credit where credit is due. This is a formal, formidable competitor. Formidable competitor for Hunter Rayner. You know, Raymo, I value your perspective a lot more than John. So what? let me ask you this question. Looking at this match on paper, Axton Ray versus Hunter Rayner, I gotta give the edge to Axton Ray. I think we have a new champion today. No, same Steven to be honest, but I would love, love to take my title back from Hunter Rayner. So let's go Hunter, but I always love a challenge. So if Axe is the man I have to beat, I'll be more than happy to do that as well. For what it's worth, in my heart, you're still the champion. In your heart and in the heart of all of Lumberton, North Carolina. What the? This is the hero of Lumberton, no. North Carolina. What I is this, the Ramo Fan Club? Two members? Yes. Well, two members of the Ramo Fan Club. Two members? I've been two members of the fan. Anyway. It's an international organization. So I had a pushing off now. Axton Ray with good upper body strength. And Hunter Rayner, I tell you what, he's going to try to go tip for tat with... Axton Ray, he may have his work cut out for him. Axton coming off the ropes again. And wait a minute, oh! Wow, Rayner takes Axton Ray off his feet! Well, you see that football player mentality of his, that experience coming into play in this contest. Hunter Rayner, he's a big boy. He knows how to knock someone down. He's a bit of a tackler. Yeah, he is. So I was sportsmanship, but wait a minute, oh! Little good veteran experience by Axton Ray to take advantage and get the side headlock on the champion now, as we see. Hunter Rayner trying to push off and get that base. No success. I tell you what, Hunter Rayner is going to be, I mean, look at the biceps. Look at the, oh, no one going nowhere. Well, so much for the power of the biceps there. Yeah, I thought there was something. But Axton Ray, really well-defined individual going down. And an amazing leapfrog. Hunter Rayner gets taken down and going that is one of the most unique freaking takedowns I've seen in a long time. Well, you and I have called. I don't know if you'd necessarily call that amateur wrestling. I'll defer to the amateur wrestler. Is that an amateur wrestling, old Remo? I'm not sure how to take you calling me an amateur wrestler. I am quite the professional. But no, you have Am amateur. amateur wrestling technique, excuse me. But I, I okay. see where you're coming from. I do apologize. A professional of the Greco-Roman art form, if you will. Much better. And see, that just proves all of the experience Axon Ray has and what makes him a dangerous competitor for every single member of RWC. Hunter Rayner trying to leverage with an armbar there, just not enough positioning for him. Very easy for Axon Ray to turn that around. He's got some good control with that wrist lock there. Hunter Rayner though, rolling through that one. Nice kip up by the big boy, and he's going to work now with the, 
effective wrist lock. Really, really torquing the wrong arm of Ray. Ray learning a little bit from Rayner there. Cartwheel shoot. Nice takeover with a side headlock takedown. Very hard for Hunter to get any kind of offense in with all the extra weight of carrying someone else's championship. Wait, someone else's championship. He won it. I called that match with Steve. You know, it's difficult carrying the extra weight around. I know I carry Jonathan Darwin every week in commentary. You do not. And commentary's gotten a lot better since he joined the team. I appreciate that. Oh my God. You know, you wonder if you're appreciated sometimes. Side headlock takeover by Hunter Rayner now has Axton Ray grounded. But look at the hair pull. Axton Ray not above taking a few shortcuts if he needs to. Was there a hair pull? I didn't see a hair pull out there. Yeah, you know, I saw him looking for a position to grab a hole. I think he touched the top of his head and said, oh, wait, there's hair there. I'm not going to cheat. Guys. I'm not that kind of man. I'm not a low-life piece of scum like Hunter Rayner stealing titles from wait, Hunter Rayner the pin. Oh, no. Actually going for one of his own, but speed. Oh, wait a minute. No way. Ah. Axton Ray, very calm, very calculated out there. And Hunter Rayner, you got to be feeling a little rocked if you're that young man right now. You think you know the way a wrestling match is going to go, but Axton Ray, so calm, so collected in there, makes him twice as dangerous as your average competitor. And there is nothing average about that man. He does have that experience factor that Hunter Rayner does not yet. But Hunter Rayner, he's going to stay right in the face of Axton Ray. Axton with a rear waist lock, goes for the kick. No one, wait a minute, rear waist lock by the champion now. And Axton raking it up and going straight over to that side headlock as we're seeing here. I mean, great agility by both competitors. Oh, wait a minute, Axton, oh, holy cow, float over. By Hunter Rayner. And Rayner, he's got that rear waist lock really cinched in. Hunter Rayner taking Axton Ray to task right now. And you gotta wonder what the future will hold for Hunter Rayner. So young, definitely not in his prime yet. He's considerably in his formative years right now. There's no other way to put it. He's still finding his stride. I gotta agree with you, Steve. Talking about the future, how do you think his future looks, my man? If he wins this match, his future's looking very dark in two weeks on the 19th, I can tell you that much. Oh, so you're going to be like David Barner, Specter, and say, He's going to call his shots. Why not? Well, he's calling his shots. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The referee being shoved in the way by Axton Ray. Oh. oh. Oh, this is a problem if you're Hunter Rayner. Not only did he fall off that top rope, which is a problem anyway, he fell off that top rope and the way his leg got caught there, that is a game changer. That is the definition of a game changer. So much going his way, Go it's for a the back pen. and forth contest, Two. but that's a change. Yeah, that, that knee came down on the second rope, maybe even hit the turnbuckle as we're seeing. Dangerous spot for the young man. It is. I want to get back to what Ramo's saying. Ramo, you're saying that you are going to guarantee victory on the 19th for that Junior Heavyweight Championship? I'm saying I deserve a rematch, or the rightful way to say it, I'm willing to give Hunter another shot at my title. A, t a title which you should still be in possession of. It is. Thank you very much, Steven. At least someone around here has some class. I you know, I actually watched the matches. I saw what happened. And now Axel Ray going for the submission. This is where the experience of Axel Ray is paying off. He's going to work on that knee that got damaged as it was coming down. Single leg takedown. Oh, and look at Axel Ray. He's smart. He's kicking the inside of the leg there. And going right back to work with that half crab. And sitting it in. He's got that lower body. He's pushing it down, which hyperextends that knee and causes even more pain, as we're seeing. And Say some great strategy by Axon Ray out there, taking away Hunter's greatest asset, which is the strength he brings into every match. For a lot of young guys in this sport, I want you to pay real close attention to what's happening right now. This is how you dissect a human being in the ring. You pick your part, you take it apart, you disintegrate that knee. You take away all hope, then you pin him, and you hook the leg because that's what a wrestler does. Oh, disrespectful slap by Axon Ray. You know, if it keeps going like this, I think I should look forward to a brand new challenge on the 19th. I think you, I think you may be looking at a brand new challenge. Right now, it's looking all but guaranteed, save for a miracle in this contest. Hey, Hunter Rainer's pulled him out before. I'm not going to sell the man short. And verbal barrage by Axton Ray to Hunter Rainer. Hunter trying to fight back. Does finally get up. 
striking away at the challenger. Whipping over, wait a minute, action, oh my God, he just took out that knee again. Never losing focus, not for a single moment. And I'm starting to become a very big fan of Axon Ray over here. Loving his strategy and anyone that does this to Hunter. Excellent to torque. Home. Look at the position on the hands, on the heel, on the tip of the foot. Well, if anything, even if Hunter Rainer's victorious, I'm not sure if that knee is going to be completely healed by the 19th. I mean, that be, might be a targeted area for you, Raymond. If Hunter Rainer, oh my God, just exposing the knee there. Yes, yeah, so those shots to the patella, they're not doing Hunter Rainer any favors. And good lower body strength by Hunter Rainer, but he can't put weight on that left leg now. The elbows, but. Hunter moving slower than he normally does, coming in with a splash. Well, Hunter Rainer doing his best to make it happen out there, but inarguably, for all the explosive power he has, it's a little lacking in the impact department compared to what we're used to seeing from him, how much damage has been done. Yeah, I, there's a lot there. He's still wobbling around, got a, a GRP and uppercut. But look, he grabbed his knee right away. He couldn't go over for the pin immediately, going for it. One, two, no. Just a two count there. Oh, Hunter, he's so close. Oh, I'm so ready for this, Steven. You're chomping at the pits over here. I see it in your eyes, man. You see gold in your future. You see revenge in your future, too, don't you? You got a little chip on your shoulder. I don't blame you. I'm mad for you. Well, what can he be mad about? I mean, he lost the title, and that's that. John, what he should be mad about, first off, is that you keep mistakenly saying that he lost the title. I watched the same contest you did. From my perspective, I saw a three count for you a couple of times. Wait a minute, Axton Ray, he's got Hunter Rainer up. Oh, kick to the gut. Oh, Hunter Rainer trying to get something off, but gets shoved off by Axton Ray as Axton Ray comes in with a head of steam and an elbow straight to the jaw of Axton Ray. You would almost feel sorry for Hunter. Almost? Almost, almost, Jonathan. But you also see that guilt written all over his face because the guilt hasn't left his face ever since he stole that title. You know what? You're right. Now that I think about it, he does seem a little bit guilty when he talks lately, like something's weighing him down. You know, like 15 pounds of gold that he doesn't deserve. He does deserve. He got the pen. That's the end of the story. Allegedly. And now Hunter Rainer, he's got a reverse arm. I don't know if he's got enough leg strength to be able to pull Axton Ray up like that with a suplex. Axton Ray now. Both oh. these guys kind of evenly matched in terms of strength and power. Yeah, but right now Hunter Rainer at the disadvantage because he doesn't have that leg to use. However, experience, there's a clear cut advantage. Oh, Axton Ray has it in spades. I'll concede that point. And don't forget, Hunter hasn't had that leg in a long time. He made a big tactical error coming out here a few months ago telling the entire Lumberton crowd about his football. Wait, going for the oh. pen. This could be all. One, two. Oh, my God, no. That one was close. Oh, good night, sir. Axton Ray out like a light. Well, Hunter Rainer. Excuse me, Rainer. Hunter Rainer out like a light. Really, really close there, but that kick in the head not helping him out. Oh. Wait a minute. Reversal by Axton Ray. And that was instant to one. One, two, three. I can't believe it. I cannot believe my eyes, John. Your winner, Steele, our NBC Junior Heavyweight Champion, Hunter Rayner. Hunter Rayner, hardest fought victory in 2022 so far. Continues to hold that title. And on February 19th, you got a shot at that man. Clearly, Hunter used up all three of his wishes to beat Axton Ray today, and that's some bad news for him in two weeks. All right, well, we will see what happens in two weeks. We'll be back with more Ring Wars Carolina Battlegrounds. We gonna show up. We can't show up. Wow. R-R-W-C-C. James Anthony. Wanting to put some championship gold around his waist as he challenges Rip Cannon here at Too Legit to Quit for that RWC Television Championship. And I know that this is going to be a great challenge for Rip Cannon. He's got, but he's got to have eyes in the back of his head because if even if he's victorious tonight against James Anthony, he will have to face Nightstick Eddie Brown somewhere down the line. 
I mean, true is true. Rip Cannon. And his being accompanied by the Playboy, Alex Bryant. He is the current RWC television champion. It's Rip Cannon. As I was saying, Rip Cannon, a young man with a world of momentum on his side. Yes. But today, a very stern contest against James Anthony. And I'm telling you right now, based on what I know that you don't know. What's that? He's got a lot of trouble. James Anthony told me about his plan Wait, are you for this talking to James today. Anthony? What are you oh, doing? James, James has told me everything. I know what you don't know, and more importantly, I know what Rip Cannon doesn't know. Well, Rip Cannon, I didn't get a chance to talk to him, but I seen who he was talking to. A good ECW. John, I got to ask you, you sounded a little worried when I said I was talking with James. Well, you a little worried you job. don't know people as well as you do? Well, I, because let me tell you, you don't. I mean, that's what I was hired for initially. Was to be the was to be the man that talked to the town. I mean, you just and we've seen how you. well that works out. They don't like to talk to you. You're using Ramo as the exception, not the rule. But Eddie, Eddie Brown doesn't like you either. Eddie Brown doesn't like a lot. Gemstone of people. doesn't like you. Barney doesn't like you. Side effect doesn't like you. The fans don't like you. The fans love me. Miss Laura hates you so much she left. Dude, that That's is the one not thing true. I need to thank you for. That is absolutely not true. As I was trying to say, Rip Cannon having a conversation today with ECW's standout superstar, C.W. Anderson, who trained Rip Cannon's stepfather, Chili Willie. Well, C.W. Anderson, you can't argue with the experience of an Anderson. No, you can't. Side headlock by the champion now. And James Anthony going for some speed, but I tell you what, Rip Cannon, very limber individual. Absolutely, as agile as they come as well, not to make light of that. An exceptional high flyer, young though he may be to this game. And he's got his second out there, Playboy Alex Bryant. Good moral support for Rip Cannon and James Anthony. James Anthony knows how to, to take apart a body part, Steve. We've seen it time and time again. Absolutely he does. Sound fundamentals in James Anthony's repertoire. And, you know, he's no slouch out there when it comes to being quick and agile either. No, he's not. He's a great high flyer. And good speed here. Well, he's using that, that's what I'm talking about. He knows where he's at. He knows how to use that ring to his advantage. Yeah, he's got that good ring experience and ring awareness. And it's paying off here as he's in control with the side headlock on the champion. Rip Cannon shoving him off. Goes downstairs. And a hip toss by the champion to James Anthony. James looking, oh, what a! Rip Cannon walking right into that arm drag. James Anthony misses with the leg. And two Rip legs. Cannon, I think. Oh, James blocks the drop kick. Oh! Both men swatting each other away here. Very evenly matched. Almost a contest of strengths with an attempted arm drag there by both competitors. And see, I thought Rip Cannon would have got the better of that exchange on the punches with that reach advantage he has on James Anthony. And if you look in the ring right now, you see what grudging respect looks like in the heat of the moment. These guys want to take each other apart. They both want the win. But you saw that moment of respect. Yeah, and that's what it's going to be they about They need here. to get rid of that idea. What? What's wrong with respect? Well, you're going to sit there and admire your opponent when you should hit him in the face? You want to give him a little attaboy when you should be slapping his teeth out? It makes yeah. no sense. To you it doesn't. To Barney it probably doesn't. Where we're guys that like to get wins, not guys that like to be good sports. Well, James Anthony's a good sport. I mean, he's so in control. So stupid. If you're not in this business to win matches and titles, I don't know what you're here for. It's not about handshakes. It's not about respect. It's not about the fans. It's about the money. And Rip Cannon, he's on fire now with that Deep back. Deep down, James Anthony's the guy that gets that. I mean, I'm not going to say that he doesn't. Suplex there by Cannon. Rip Cannon's too young to understand that. He's making a mistake today. One count only, though, in that pin. Well, how is Rip Cannon making the mistake? He's staying, he's staying right on top of James Anthony. He's thinking that he's out there with a guy that he admires that's the same kind of guy he is. But James Anthony isn't the same kind of athlete Rip Cannon is. Rip no, Cannon no, no. going up and over. Great high-flying move by Cannon. Can't take that away. But no. James Anthony on the ground the way he may be. That man is a thoroughbred. That man is a killer. And if you give him an opportunity to take away your dreams and get his, he will. He knows how to do it. I don't care if he smiles at you. Going for the pin here again, though, by Rip Cannon, too. One count. 
of Rip Cannon being innovative. And he's taking it to James Anthony with those high-flying maneuvers. Well, yeah. I said he's a talented high flyer, but he's no thoroughbred. He's not as well-rounded. If he flies around the ring with a guy like James Anthony too often, you know what's going to happen? What? He's going to catch that leg and break it. Well, he's showing, I mean, a lot out here for being as young as he is in his career, being a champion. Is that what's happening, or are we seeing some rope-a-dope, brother? James Anthony, again, he's thoroughbred. His cardiovascular conditioning is like no other. You think he's the one that's getting tired right now? Yeah, he's getting hit, but he's not sleepy. He's not ready to call it in. Oh, I, Rip I Cannon, look at him, bro. He's breathing a little bit harder right now. But I'm not going to take anything away from James Anthony's conditioning. Longest man ever in the Golden Opportunity Rumble. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. And that's what I'm talking about. Next killer break. instinct, killer athlete. How's Rip Cannon looking right now? He hurt the go knee, he hurt the neck. Yeah, Rip Cannon's in trouble. I'm not going to go away from that, Steve. And that's why he's smart to roll to the outside. Regoup. Trouble Regoup. doesn't oh, quite wait, cover Anthony. it. Oh, my God, die through the middle. Trouble, that's the beginning of what's happening. This, sir, is dire straits. This, sir, was a man who thought he had everything going his way, and it's not anymore. The best laid plans laid to waste when you're up against a man who's planned out ten moves ahead of you. Are you saying that James can think that far ahead? I mean, I absolutely can. Are you blind? Have you not been watching the same caliber athlete I have? I, You've been here longer, and you can't figure out who that man is. I know who James Anthony is, thank you very much. I know what he brings to the table. But right now, he's got to stay maybe one, two moves ahead. He can't be thinking that far ahead because that's the point. Go for the pin. Two count. That's the point where you that's make a mistake. That's the way of thinking of a man like you. Well, it is not. That is the way of thinking because you don't want to be man to make a mistake. You think five, ten moves ahead. You're thinking too far ahead. And then, bam. Well, well let's see the that's tell of the caught. tape today. Let's see how this thing unfolds. Forearm there by Anthony as Cannon is grounded by the challenger. James Anthony going for that pin. One, two, no. Just a two count there. See, I don't understand Anthony's strategy at all. Arguing with the referee, not the soundest idea in the book. Well, to be fair, the referee is an idiot. How is he an idiot? He's calling it down the middle. Oh, what a kick to the small of the back. That guy looks like he doesn't have a clue what's going on in that ring half the time. In no way, shape, or form should somebody not be calling that man out on his job. Going for the pen. Two, no. I've never seen such an aimless individual so in need of direction in my life. So you're almost going to argue that the man can't even count to three. No, I think he can count to three. I just don't think he knows when to do it. Well, he's doing it so far because Rip Cannon popping out with those shoulders as he tries to go back on the offensive. He knows what he's doing. The fans had to tell him to count. He did not. The fans did not have to tell him to count. Oh, what an elbow by James Anthony. Rocking the jaw of Rip Cannon. Going for the pin here again. Lateral. Now, come on. James Anthony, an experienced man, should know that you have to push the shoulders down. He gave Rip Cannon that opportunity to kick out. Well, I think he wants to hurt Rip Cannon a little more. He knows it's not time. This one isn't done quite yet. You think so? Of course I think so, and he knows so because he's smarter than me, and I'm smarter than you. So between the two of us, we're the two smartest people here, and you know nothing. I do know things. I know lots of things. What do you know? I know that James Anthony's in control now as he's trying to I'll give you that one. As he's going to work on that carotid artery of Rip Cannon. But Rip Cannon, he's trying to find a way to get that through. He's trying to show that he's got the conditioning. Can Cannon, though... Getting the arm checked. He's getting woozy. Uh-oh, baby boy's fading. He's fading. Uh-oh. Could we have a new champion? Wimpley fading. Oh, oh, come on. There we go. Come on, you were almost home. That adrenaline kicking in for Rip Cannon. You see it? You can almost watch that adrenaline coursing through Cannon's veins as he pushes the elbows straight into the abdominals of Rip. James Anthony. James Anthony with a drop kick, though, stops Rip Cannon in his momentum. Go for the pin here again. One. Two, no! Hey, do you like the press of the shoulders and the hook of the leg that time? Did, did that do it for you? Well, I did because he knew that if he did not do that, Rip Cannon was going to kick out again. And he did kick out. Unfortunately for Rip Cannon. I don't know if it's unfortunate. Rip Cannon, he wants to stay victorious. He wants to have that championship match against Eddie Brown at some point. He wants to prove he is the rightful champion. 
James Anthony coming off and uh, oh, gets caught with the kick. Well, Rip can grabbing a hold of that foot, turns him around. Gets a close line off on James Anthony. Didn't quite get all of it though. Got the elbow that time, got all of it. James Anthony off the ropes. This is that clothesline and swing blade. Rip Cannon rolling him over, goes for that pin. One, two, no! Well, Rip Cannon, I know he's hurt right now, but if he wants to win this thing, he needs to turn on the fuel. He needs to step on the gas. Well, he's caught and ready to call a shot. He's measuring him, and a drop kick takes James Anthony down. Go for the pin here again. One, two, yes, no! Credit where it's due, there was excellent precision on that drop kick, excellent follow-up with the hook of the leg, but he just hasn't done enough to put away James Anthony. I'll give you that, Steve. He's going to have to do some more. He knows he's fighting a man with superior conditioning. That is the one check I will give in James Anthony's column. James Anthony getting whipped off the ropes here, and the champion, holy! Tilt to whirl, but got reversed with the head scissors there on the way down. And that was just enough to send him into the corner. Here comes James Anthony. Nice, nice forearm shot to the jaw. There's rocked Rip Cannon. That guy's on rubber legs right now. Yeah, he is. He's going down. He's on knee. He's, uh, he's woozy. Anthony measuring him. Oh, gets one off. Now's the cutter on the way down. Can Anthony get over, though, to get the pin? Rip Cannon should go a little again. further. One, two. Ah, good ring awareness by the champion. I can't take that one away from him. I don't like the guy, but that's what you got to do. When you get rocked that hard, you have Both to do everything. Go for the again. One, two, no. You were saying, Steve, about that. I just said exactly what Wait I Wait a minute. Hey, what's Eddie Brown doing out here? He's got no reason to be he, out here. He's observing the contest. He's not observing the contest. Look, James Anthony doesn't want him out here. He doesn't want him in his business. Well, James Anthony needs to keep his eyes on Rip Cannon, and likewise, Cannon needs to keep his eyes on James Anthony. Kick to the knee by Anthony on Cannon. Cannon, he's in trouble, but Eddie Brown still getting yelled at women. Going for the pin here again. Two, three. And Rip Cannon knowing that sit-out powerbomb out of nowhere. And what a victory for Rip Cannon. Well, I'm getting it from the back now that because of Rip Cannon being victorious, he will face Nightstick Eddie Brown on February 19th. And to give it to G Money and James Anthony, they're gonna get that title tag team title shot on the 19th. You know, it's, it's real strange the way the title shots keep lining up for James Anthony. A great, great showing for Rip Cannon today. A heck of an effort by James Anthony, but you know, Looking at what's happening right now, I think Nice to Eddie Brown has stolen the show, stolen the moment for himself, made it about him. Now that's a guy with his eye on the prize. No, that's he, the guy that's a money maker. Well, he stole the opportunity. He distracted James Anthony. James Anthony might no, have been victorious. he didn't distract James Anthony. James Anthony chose to be distracted. Showing sportsmanship alike, and Eddie Brown doesn't understand it. James Anthony is mad, and I can't blame him, John. No, because no, Eddie Brown had zero business being out here. He was nearly a champion today, a champion again. We'll be back with our main event while I regather my thoughts. We gonna show up. We can't show up. R R W W C C. show with a little bit of attitude now but a lot of experience I mean Renee Michelle ECWA women's champion FEW Flair's champion MCW women's champion four times over NWO ladies champion and WXW diamond division champion I mean in Raymond Renee Michelle she's been everywhere the accolades go on and on and you know John we talk about the complete package the look the promo, the knowledge, this woman has it all. The gift of gab, the gift of jab, and no one on this planet can take their eyes off her. She is everything that this sport looks for. And that's true because, I mean, she's been on NXT. She's, and excuse her me. opponent tonight is Dream Girl Ellie. 
as I was going to say, is not in a, Ellie's the one who's been on NXT. Renee Michelle, she's been on AEW Dark, though. I mean, she's been to that mountaintop. So this is going to be a hot one here. Dream Girl Ellie, as we await her entrance. And Dream Girl Ellie, member of the International Superstars with Axton Ray and Blanco Loco. And I guess you want you want to tell us a little bit more about Renee? You uh, you look like you got something to say, Steve. Oh, well, Jonathan, I'm just a giant fan of hers. I've been a big fan of hers since the 2017 May Young Classic. We saw during that event what she has to offer this sport and she's only gotten better with time. I understand Dream Girl early. She's the kind of girl with a world of momentum on her side. You know, she's appeared regularly in Ohio Valley Wrestling, but she is up against a woman who will take her apart. Yeah, this I'm just calling it like I see it, but Renee Michelle, she's the advantage. Well, it could be, it could go either way, but that's why I'm glad we got Earl Hepner to referee this match, because this is gonna be a historic one here in Ring Wars, Carolina. All right, this one is underway. Ding, ding means it's time to start this one. Yeah. Both girls measuring each other up. Renee Michelle, she's kind of eyeballing Dream Girl Ellie, trying to get Ellie's head. Ellie wanted to go on the offensive real quick, but Renee and Michelle having none of it. Well, we know who the fans are behind. As we hear the cheers for Dream Girl Ellie. Well, that's not going to deter Renee Michelle. That's not going to distract her for a moment. And the support of the fans, yeah, it's nice, but it's hardly an advantage in a competitive contest between athletes. Uh, hey. I thought it might take her a little off tilt, and it still might, as we see Renee Michelle just getting ready and going back to that collar and elbow tie up here as we see both men, or excuse me, both ladies going around. And Dream Girl Ellie has Renee Michelle grounded. Both women holding on to that collar and elbow tie up, though. Nice drag down by Renee Michelle. A good head says just by Dream Girl Ellie. Michelle, though, looking for a position here, back and forth, trying to pop out of this thing, and she slides out. And goes into a side headlock on Dream Girl Ellie. Good agility by both ladies. You see that side headlock cinched in there. Side headlock takeover. And I tell you what, I've had the opportunity to see Dream Girl Ellie in other promotions. She is a high flyer. Renee Michelle must have done her homework to keep somebody like Ellie grounded. Well, Renee Michelle, she knows how to use a person's body in there against them. She knows how to lead them in a direction based on what she's holding on to. And that's what we're seeing now. But look at the power of Ellie to get out of that and gets a side headlock of her own on Michelle. Good use of fundamentals in the opening moments of this thing. Oh, wait a minute. A hair pull by, by Renee Michelle. Taking a shortcut when none needs to be taken. Oh, wow, look at the way that Ellie has that side headlock cinched in. Going nowhere fast is Renee Michelle. Renee Michelle back in Dream Girl Ellie up, pushes her off the ropes. Ellie runs into her, hits a shoulder block on Renee, though. Yeah, Ellie showing some good offensive out here as we see. Wait a minute, another side headlock takeover, and down goes Renee Michelle again. Dream Girl Ellie very intelligently stopping her momentum and waiting rather than bounding off those ropes. Yeah, this is where Dream Girl Ellie really shines. She knows, excuse me, where to stop, where to go. She has a lot of experience. And then we're seeing out here now as Renee Michelle finally finds a way to break free. Going to work with the wrist lock now. But look at that. Going back and forth there, Steve. Rear waist lock by Dream Girl Ellie. Shoves off Renee Michelle into the corner and a speed. Oh! Nice battering ram shot in the corner. And the 
flexibility there, nailing the kick from that position without even moving. Bounding off the ropes as the Dream Girl nails the clothesline on the way down. Hooks the leg. One, two, no. Shoulder does get up. Referee Hebner saying so. Hebner checking on Renee Michelle. And that's, and that's the experience that comes with a Hall of Famer referee. Oh, oh big strikes by Renee Michelle now as she whips Ellie off the ropes. Going down, misses that clothesline. Oh, what a kick by Renee Michelle, straight to the jaw. Excellent knockout worthy blow. And while I love her, I gotta say, cover the woman. This is a missed opportunity. Yeah, Renee Michelle getting that ego getting in the way. Go. Oh, just striking away on Dream Girl Ellie. Well, Renee Michelle, she knows as much time as she spent. Probably not the time to go for a pin. But if you've already hit her in the head once so effectively, you may as well follow it up. And that's what Renee Michelle's trying to do now. Just pushing away on the midsection of Dream Girl Ellie. Just Renee grabs her and throws her back again and again. This is some devastating work to the abdominal cavity of Dream Girl Ellie. Excellent follow up by Renee Michelle staying on her target. Earl Hebner though getting her out of that corner though. And that's what he needs to do. And look at this. We've got a count going. Earl Hebner, he's not going to take any flack. I don't care who, who's out there. Yeah, baby, wise to maybe take a step back. That is not a woman I would choose to make mad under any circumstance. Rightfully agreed. And now, side, wait a minute. I, thought, Renee, I've, I was going to say a side headlock, but I believe, from my vantage point, I can't see it, but I think Renee Michelle's getting some strikes in on the temple of Ellie. Well, whether or not she got the strikes aside, she has excellent leverage on that headlock, and it's a step away from being a choke, but it's just enough to not be. It's cutting off that blood flow. It's putting a lot of pressure on that eardrum, but it's not a choke or Earl would be in there. No, it's not. That's, I'll give the point conceded. And Ellie, she's getting a little exhausted now. Great uh, positioning by Renee Michelle. You know, Ellie's so close to the, those ropes, but she still hasn't been able to just take her foot and drape it over there and break this old. No, she hasn't. No, she ha and she needs to. Oh, what a jawbreaker. That'll stop anybody. Well, it certainly put a put a pin in it. Renee Michelle misses with the cartwheel. And kick. then we see it. Dream Girl Ellie now with some forearms. Go for those. Well, I thought we were going to see another clothesline, but she catches. Excellent hook of the arm. Smashes the face into the knee. Does it one more time. Spins her around. Catches the kick on the backside. Renee Michelle is down on the mat, but Dream Girl Ellie not fall. That is not an intelligent way to pin a woman like Renee Michelle. I am sorry. I think that Fan I, favorite be darned. That is ridiculous. I do think the ego got the best of Ellie in that heat of the moment there. But Ellie, she's smart. She's coming off and a knee straight to the shoulder blades. And we're seeing away. And now Renee Michelle being helped up by. Wait a minute. Inside cradle. Small going to the pit again. Two count. Wait a minute. Potential backslide. That could be all. Wait a minute, wow, Renee Michelle getting out of that quick. Neither woman in control of the backslide, but Renee Michelle in control with that kick. Go over that pin. Oh, she's got it. Oh, well done, Renee Michelle. Our winner, Renee Michelle. Referee call for the best. Renee Michelle, victorious. I tell you what, I'll give credit where credit is due. Dream Girl Ellie really put a Hard fought, honest effort out there. Tonight was just not her night, Steve. No, great back and forth contest. But you take your eye off the prize or you take your opponent for granted, it's gonna come back to haunt you. And Dream Girl Ellie, for the best moment she had in that contest, in my opinion, just draping the foot across the chest trying to attempt a victory pinfall, that was her mistake. That was a moment she could have won. And giving Renee Michelle that opportunity, that's what cost her. Well, I want to see this one again. Ellie's got plenty of footage to reverse. We thank you for joining us for Ring Wars, Carolina Battlegrounds. For Stephen Hensley, this is Jonathan Darwin saying we'll see you back here next week.